Hi, I'm Alex, a beautiful spring day here in Beijing. I'm lucky enough to be enjoying some fresh green tea. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the preventative health course and uh, what you can expect to gain from it. We're going to talk about topics, what is health? How is it different from wellness? How can we gain from an Eastern perspective? How we can get the most out of both Eastern and Western medicine? I'll give you the first key. In fact, the most important key of preventative health and wellness. This gives you the scaffolding for all other health and wellness to be built upon, like the fertile soil for the plants to grow and thrive. Chinese medicine is a complex field, you know. Uh, I've been studying and practicing Chinese medicine for over 15 years, and I'll give you what I've found to be the most important tools, ideas, and strategies for you to get the most out of it. Physical health, emotional well-being, which leads to longevity, which leads to what the ancients called immortality. I'm sure you'll get as much out of this as I have. So let's relax and enjoy. Okay, before we begin, I give you a short introduction to who I am. My name is Alex Tan. I was born and raised in Australia to a Chinese father and a red-headed Australian mother. During my first degree in engineering and management, I was exposed to some of the ideas of Taoism through a world religions course. This understanding of Eastern philosophy and this developed a great interest for me and a personal interest where I read a lot of books about this. And um, particularly the relationship between ancient Eastern sages and modern developments in Western science, which I was heavily into at the time. This sparked an interest in not only Taoism, but also preventative health. I found a Qigong teacher. I did an apprenticeship with this Qigong teacher. I felt that everything I wanted to do, and I felt alignment when I read all this stuff about Taoism and Chinese medicine. So I decided to actually quit my career and go back at the age of 28 to a full-time degree in Chinese medicine. We're fortunate enough in Australia to have a Bachelor of Health Science traditional Chinese medicine degrees in Australia. So during that degree, I learned a lot about the theory and the clinical arm of Chinese medicine. At the end of 2005, the final component of the degree is to come to Beijing to do an internship program. I completed that. I stayed in China, I immersed myself in Chinese culture, got back in touch with my relatives, found teachers. I felt like the first 20 years of my life, I did everything not to be Chinese. And the second 20 years of my life, actually to become more Chinese. You know, even though I run a full-time Chinese medicine clinic, the true power of Chinese medicine is in the preventative arm. Yeah. As the ancient doctors say, only when diet and lifestyle fail, should you use acupuncture and herbal medicine? 